Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I am your host without the most iron mustache and this is a long awaited, I have not done this in so long and I figured it's time to start it back up again but welcome back to another episode of Prog Talk. This will be Prog Talk episode 12 if I'm not mistaken. But in today's episode, episode 12, we're going to be covering covers. Alright, so there's lots of awesome, really amazing prog rock and prog metal covers. Unfortunately, for this video, I'm not going to be able to actually play any of these covers because I don't want to get a copyright strike, So, but we will talk about these covers. And I don't know if you've never noticed, but I recently got a new tattoo. I got to do a Whitechapel tattoo, and it's fucking awesome because I fucking love Whitechapel. Anyway, um, if you'd be so kind and uh, hit that like and subscribe button right down below and get that bell icon, that way you're always notified of my video post traps these once a day. We are going to get into this discussion of covers by prog rock and prog metal bands. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so our first set of covers comes from um, Dream Theater, and this album has a plethora of covers, like a plethora, like holy moly, it's like almost a whole cover album. Anyway, off the album, A Change of Seasons, uh, we have, like I said, a plethora, just a lot of covers to cover. So uh, some of the covers covered by this album let me pull that up real quick because i can never remember sometimes ah here we go uh funeral for a friend love by his bleeding by elton john perfect strangers by deep purple the rovery is shilly's last stand the song remains the same by led zeppelin and the flesh by pink floyd karen rare song by kansas bohemian rhapsody by queen love and touch and squeezing by journey cruise control by the dixie dregs and turn it on again by genesis now yeah this this album has just a plethora of covers there's so many covers it's ridiculous but it's like they i think one of my favorite covers off this album has to be perfect changers it is so good they did deep purple really good with that cover and i think james labrie just really gives it off with his with his vocals to make that song so amazing and uh you know, the keyboard part, you know, everything about that cover is just so, so good, in my opinion. So, you can take it as you want. So, anyway, I think it's a great, great, great cover. So, yeah, so we're going to cover some more covers. So, here we go. All right, so this next uh, couple of covers comes from the band that is on my shirt. Because I am a big Tool fan. Anyway, uh, so off the album Saliva, we have two covers. We have You Lied by Peach which I think is, if I'm not mistaken, was Justin Chancellor's former band. And then we have a Led Zeppelin cover, No Quarter. And this No Quarter cover, wow. Wow. Tool's cover of No Quarter by Led Zeppelin is beyond, beyond anything I can even say amazing because it is really, really good, in my opinion. I remember, people, that a lot of times I make these prog, rock, uh, prog talk videos, it's a lot of opinion nothing is based on fact so take it as you want that's all i gotta say take it as you want and uh yeah i personally think that their cover of no quarter is just amazing just take it as you want so that's all you gotta do now this entire album it's an entire album this time done by the greatest band in the world everybody knows the greatest band in the world if you don't know then i, I know what to tell you but this wondrous, just absolutely banger of an album by Rush, because Rush is the greatest band of all time, I mean, no questions asked, um, has a, it's the whole album is literally just covers. Covers by uh, Eddie Cochran, Blue Cheer, The Yardbirds, Buffalo Springfield, The Who, Love, The Yardbirds Again, and Cream. It just, the whole thing is just an absolute banger like front to back absolutely amazing and i think rush does amazing absolutely amazing i mean you, you can't go wrong with rush i mean whatever rush does you really honestly can't go wrong and this is one of those cover albums you're just like you know you can't go wrong with it at all it's just impossible to go wrong with feedback by rush it's such a great great album all of the songs are covers and it's just like a great, great album. Anyway, that's what I got to say about that because it's Rush, and I fucking love Rush. I mean, obviously, look, I got like Rush over there, Rush over there, Rush, Rush, Rush. I mean, I'm a diehard Rush fan. Anyway, let's continue on. 
All right, so I'm going to call this next one a double header. So, by Primus. Just, just slap that Let's Clay Pool. That weird thing he does, you know. Anyway, this will be a double header for two albums. Uh, first one being uh, Miss. Uh, sorry, it's going to be Rhinoplasty. It's got this amazing cover of Peter Gabriel's The Famine and the Fish in it. I think that how Les Claypool does it opening bass. Boom, boom, boom. I think it's just absolutely amazing. And then we have another full album full of covers by Primus. And that will be the album Miscellaneous Debris. And has some amazing, amazing covers by acts such as Peter Gabriel, of course, you know. Um, XTC, The Resonance, The Meters, and Pink Floyd. So yeah, they do an amazing, very amazing, very, very good cover of um, Have a Cigar and a very amazing cover of Intruder by Peter Gabriel. And just it's just an absolutely incredible, incredible, very well done uh, cover album of a bunch of different bands and stuff. But anyway, that's going to be... Uh, bleh. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, sorry. Covers. I keep forgetting. My brain's, like, going this way. Like, it's doing this. Like, it's going away. Anyway, let's continue on. Now, I almost completely forgot about this particular album. It's one of my favorite, like, cover albums of all time. And that one would be this one right here. The Anatomy of, by Between the Barrier and Me. Oh, is it Autonomy? Anatomy? Autonomy? Autonomy? Anyway, this whole album is just nothing but covers, and it is so good. You have amazing, amazing covers, like their amazing cover of Blackened by Metallica. You have Motley Crue, Soundgarden. You got Queen. You got King Crimson. You got Pink Floyd. You got Smashing Pumpkins, Earth Crisis, Sepultura, Blind Melon, Faith No More, Depeche Mode, Pantera, and Counting Crows. I mean, this, from front to back, is such a great, great great just absolutely i mean their their cover of quick summer heart by motley crew is really silly but i honestly think it's better than the original just my opinion anyway i think tommy uh, thomas giles does such a great job with all his vocals in this album i mean they they've taken like blackened by metallica and they cranked it up the metal like they like cranked it up man oh they cranked it all the way up it's pretty fucking awesome in my opinion anyway that will be that. So, continuing on, I guess. I guess we are. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This will be the end of this video. It's probably not going to be super duper long because, I mean, there's probably a ton and ton more covers that I can cover. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to keep it short and sweet and to the point. So, if you'd be so kind, and uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button right down below and get that bell icon uh, so you're always notified of my video posts, which happens at least once a day. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Prog Talk with me, your host without the most iron mustache. In the meantime, I will say to all you wonderful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous prog heads, prog on or no. Keep calm and prog on. Adios, amigos.